Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this week's Hottest Cards. And this week, guys, I don't even have time to tell you how much time I don't have, okay? We are covering so many cards in this week, as promised. Last week, I let you know that when the week after a new set comes out, it's kind of dead, low volume, low transactions. Well, that week is gone, and it is a new week, and things are back to going crazy, okay? So, before we begin, and we are going to begin, and we are going, I'm going to speed run through this because there's just way too many cards. We got a lot of Charizards, we got Full Arts, we got Baby Shinies, we got a couple cool mid modern Grails, we got all kinds of stuff here. But for one second, I want to take a page out of the Poke Vault playbook, and I want to sell myself to you. Mimic Brew, say it with me, Mimic Brew. Okay, what the hell am I talking about? Take a page out of Pokeball. So Pokeball is really good at letting you know that he has the number one jawline in this niche, Pokemon TCG. He will also let you know that he is by far and away the most entertaining pack opener, and he absolutely is. I made a Pokemon TCG content creator YouTuber award video last year, and I gave him most entertaining. So I 100% agree, okay? However, one time only, I'm gonna pull a page out of Pokeball for myself. There is no one, no one, not company, not human, not content creator on the entire internet, not on YouTube, not TCG Player Weekly articles themselves that are bringing you guys more raw card, keyword raw card data than this guy, Mimic Brew, okay? And to be honest, if there is anyone that even can hold a candle to the amount of information I am giving you guys on a weekly basis related to raw cards, I feel sorry for that person because I put in several hours, several hours looking up this stuff and I take a lot of pride in how thorough I am. All right, so again, if you're not subscribed to Mimic Brew and raw card price movement interest you, what the hell are you doing? Hit the damn subscribe button. All right. Let's get into last week's, oh yeah, by the way, I'm so sorry I'm sneaking this in at the very end of the week. I just had some absolute banger, once in a lifetime content I had to bring to you guys. Case in point, the, T the, uh, the TCA Gaming base set booster box uh, tutorial video, and then me infiltrating the Pokemon Cabal. I had to get those out, but here we are at the very end of the week, this week's hottest cards. All right, and let's get to it. Let's actually look right now at last week's cards, all right? So last week we are going to speed run through this because I got a lot of stuff to cover. So Armored Mewtwo SM228, the, the beautiful full art looking uh, Black Star promo or whatever. This card, um, every week since I talked about it, it just keeps going up and up and up and up. And it is up to $85.73. Unigaba Eevee. See in the middle there, you can see it was 2321 to 2398. That's not a big jump. I had a feeling it was going to go up again, so I left it on the list. Sure enough, $26.05. Drowsy's falling off, okay? Lana's Aid is going to fall off. Now, Regidrago V Star and Regidrago V Star Secret Rare. Both of those cards, I told you last week, hurry the hell up and sell these cards and make your money. Because Regidrago V Star is a $1 bolt card that people need for worlds, all right? And guess what? That shit went up to 15 bucks. I had four copies. I've already made like $40 off this $4 worth of bulk V-Star cards, okay? It is finally tanking, so hopefully you already sold yours, because um, it's Worlds, like right now. Uh, the uh, the Hyper Rare version is holding a little better. It's down to 1784. Flareon EX Generation Radiant Collection. That beautiful banger of a card, which is right there. It is up three weeks in a row from 44, now it's up to 46.36. Caesar stays on the list. Plusle is finally falling off. Minum, which followed Plusle the week after, still going up, so we'll see Plus. We'll see Minum next, on next week's list. Raichu uh, kind of went flat, so Raichu's probably gonna fall off for next week. Blastoise, down a little, definitely falling off. Garchomp EX Hyper Rare, my favorite Hyper Rare from last year, is up just a little bit more. At 11.05, that'll probably fall off. Gouging Fire, down, fall off. Now Greninja, EXSIR. The card I showed you last week was selling for $352.69. Two copies, yay, yay, yay. Last week was $290. This week it's up north of $301. Best price banger from last week was the Chili Willy Secret Rare Snorlax. 
It's more or less right around the same, around $64. That was last week's banger. Stay tuned for this week's banger. It's a Charizard. And by the way, there's just a lot of Charizards on this list. So to be honest, guys, we're just going to start right off with Charizards. Are you guys ready for this? I'm ready. We're going to get all the Charizards out of the way. We're going to go from there. All right, guys. Here we go. So we're going to start out small and work our way up as far as the Zardy boys go. So Radiant Charizard Crown Zenith, $5.21. On the one month, you can see it's up from a low of $3.83. It's hit a high of $5.70, and right now it's at $5.21. One again, we're speed running. I'm gonna go through this. Look at this real quick. I thought, hua, 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 hu, hia, hua. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I, I, you know, I'm a little immature. All right. So the, the full art from Obsidian Flames. Let's take a look here. Nine eleven, nine dollars and eleven cents. Up from a low of what would that be? Six eighty five just in the last few weeks. So it is up big time. Twenty two percent on the month let's go ahead and take a quick snapshot three month because obviously it costs a lot more uh, a few months ago but you see a little foundation here and we see uptrend charizard full art obsidian flames a lot of obsidian flames are finally starting to get a little you know just a little padding underneath them but charizard full art 9 11 bang bang now the other one the jolly rancher okay jolly rancher's going up too so this one's basically back up to around $20. We had it as low as 16 on the one month, and now it's basically cracking 20. This is a card that was 20 for quite a while. But da 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 da, we see a little floor here. Now we see the uptrend. Okay, okay. So that's three Charizards. Now here's a big one. Check this out. This bad boy. One of the most beautiful full arts just in general. Like literally, the thing is so embossed and so. Yeah. That was a weird Charizard that Charizard don't sound like that. But look at this. This card, as a lot of us probably already know, it was sitting around $34 to $32 for quite a long time. But bang, look at this. Just in the last week, went from, oh, let's go back just in two weeks. Went from $32 up to $40, and now we're sitting at $38.36 on this Charizard. So there's four Charizards in a row that are up this week. Radiant Charizard's up this week. Full Art Obsidian Flames, Hyper Rare Obsidian Flames, and Full Art from 151. Now let's get into some SIRs. Zapdos, this is a lot of people's favorite SIR from last year. So check this out. He's at 42.81. So that's the high on the one month. Probably not the high. It is the high on the three month. One of these, it's not going to be. Oh, it's the high on the six month. It's okay, fine. It's just not the all time high. So the all time high after release, 43. It's literally bare, almost all the way up to its all time high. Zapdos, and for good reason, banger, beautiful SIR from 151. All right, let's take a look at another SIR. Wellspring Mask Ogre Pond EX. This guy on the one month was as low as about 21 bucks, and it's up to $25. That's a 17% increase on the year. We don't really need to look in this. It was basically dead, 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 and just in the last couple weeks, it's went up about 20%. That's all you really need to know there. This is clearly playable. I wouldn't be surprised if Radiant Charizard's playability related and this Wellspring Mask Ogapan is also playability related. But yeah, up to 25 bucks. All right, now the last SIR we're going to look at today. Mew, the Bubble Mew, everybody's favorite. So $87.39 with a nice meow, uptrend over the last three weeks. This is not an all-time high. It's all-time high is like 90. Yep, 90.74. But on the one month... You see, well, let's go back here. So we see a solid foundation around the $75 mark. Do, 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 do. And that, there it is again, 75, 75. But yeah, we see some gradual. Oh, by the way, TCG Player is rolling out updates so much lately. And one of these things they are doing is showing you uh, of a one month snapshot. This is a new feature. Oh, here, let me bring it up here. So one month snapshot says low, it says high, it says average daily sold and total sold. This is a really, really cool new feature that you can see on all TCG player charts. And to be honest, it's just a great extra amount of uh, information. So just check that out, get on TCG player, check this out for yourself, very cool. And again, guys, per always, now make sure you're on near mint. So right here, near mint, $87.39 going up looking strong all right bang bang all right let's let's keep it going 
keep it going. Metagross is double digits now. Temporal forces, IRs. We're into IRs now, okay? So we went from uh, Charizards to SIRs, and now we're getting into IRs, and we're getting the full arts, and then we're getting baby shinies and some other stuff. So Metagross, 10 bucks even, literally. Very good. This is an all time high, I do believe. Yeah, uh, 1060 was the all time high. We are so. Oh, right there. Let's see if we can find it. Yeah, right, literally right there. So we're basically cracking, about to to kiss its all-time high. And Metagross, I don't know. What do you guys think? Think this will keep going up, or you think ten bucks is where it's gonna stay? I wouldn't be surprised if ten bucks is as high as this thing goes. Cool card, but there's just too many cool cards. All right, now let's go to Pikachu. So Pikachu from 151, uh, definitely comfortably over twenty dollars now. We got near mint. Let's look at the one month. So on the three month, you can see it was as low as fifteen dollars. Now it's up twenty twenty. Should be 25 percent more than that but around 20 percent on the one month you see it's on a one month high three month you can see it's a three month high six month it is on a six month high the only part it's not is right here after release yeah but all that is trending upwards and it's i mean a six month high a three month high and a one month high good for you pikachu and to be honest with all the other starters that are in the mid lower to mid 20s it's about darn time pikachu finally made its made its way on up all right, let's go to the Paldea. This week's Paldea IR to go up. Little Fletchender. So Fletchender's at an all-time high. It's at seven dollars and forty-two cents. And let's see here. Let's go. Da, 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 da. On the three-month, it was as low as about five bucks. But yeah, definitely an all-time high for Fl Fletchender, and it's just been gradually going up all the way since the beginning of the year. Fletchender, good for you. Good for you, Fletchender. All right, let's go back to another Mew. This is the Paldean Fates. Mew, okay, just don't get confused, it's not from 151, hence why it says Paldean Fates right there. <laughs> Alright, so $8.45, so on the one month, it's been as low as $6.48, so it's up quite almost 30% on the month. Let's look at the three month. That's a three month high, that's a six month high, it's probably not a, what? That's even a one year high, holy crap. So yeah, Paldean Fates, Mew, Full Art doing very good it's it's literally at an all-time high i assumed it had to have been higher right after release but no this card is doing fantastic okay okay let's keep it going more full arts charbuck yeah yeah i got it charbuck up to i believe this is also an all-time high from 151 so on the one month you can see it's as low as eight bucks right now it's at 1038 that's up uh you know about 15 percent on the three month you can see though it's up quite a lot it's up 35 percent from like seven dollars all the way up to ten and now it's right after release 1146 is the all-time high so we're at 1060 we're less than a dollar away from its all-time high good for you Charbuck. and here's another one that you probably wouldn't expect golem what sound does golem make golem there you go that's the sound golem makes look at this Whew, almost ten dollars what are you doing golem why are you so expensive now because i'm from 151 all right so uh three month three month high six month six month high obviously you said one month high on the year that's an all-time high another all-time high right here all-time high full art. all right let's get into a, a pair of baby shinies a pair of very uh, very similar baby shinies shinx so shinx is up to an all-time high of six dollars and twelve cents am i on near mint yes i am so Shinky Boy, it could be playability related because I'm not sure why else Shinx is going up right now. Especially because the other one that's going up that we'll get to next. But on the three month, you can see it's up to 620. That's its highest. One month, it's its highest. Six month, it's its highest. So yeah, this is another all-time high. I'm finding tons of all-time highs on this week. I told you this week was going to be a good one. Uh, yes, I did. All right, let's go to Luxray. Because not Luxio, but Luxray. They skip one. So Luxray on the one month. So we had a high of 579, now it's up to 591, so it's at a one month high. Now three month, not looking so great. Six month, all right, meh, meh, meh. But here we go, higher lows. So we have a low of $4, and then we have a high low, a high low, a high low, we dip low, but then we got a high low, dip low, <laughs> a high low again. So there's something probably with Shinx and Luxray that has to do with the TCG that's happening, because why else would these two be the only two baby shinies up on the week? But yeah, this is, uh, it's looking good. All right. All right, let's move on. We are actually almost done. Okay. 
So one of my favorite cards ever, right there. It's at the very top of the middle row. Hence how you know it's one of my favorite cards, okay? It's right there. All right, Mew EX Legendary Treasures Radiant Collection. So on the one month, not a ton of sales, but let's go ahead and, first of all, what is it at right now? $51.03. Let's go to the three and the six month. So three month, you can clearly see it's up from $40 to $50. Six month, you can see it's up from $35 to $51 and on the year all you see is a gradual uptick beautiful card this card should be worth at least $50 let's be honest should have always been $50 absolute banger all right this is coming up next this is like the best ETB promo ever to the extent that it even has its own nickname it's stained glass birds card and it's up a little check it out so, bang. Moltres, Aptos, and Articuno, the Hidden Fates ETB. This is up to $20.67. It's a high on the three month. That is almost a high on the one month. It's just right here, right here. You know, very low high, or very high low, pardon me. And it looks like it's about to break through north of $21. So if you look here, though, it's been as low as $14 or $15. Bucks. You see nothing but uptick on the six month. Get to the one year, you see nothing but gradual upswing with higher lows. This card is an absolute a banger. Yes, it is. All right, guys. Now it is time for the best price banger. And guess what? We're going to finish with the Charizard. We started with Charizard. Now we're going to finish with the Zardy Boy. So, and it's a Sword and Shield Arlter. All right. So, basically, bang. This card we all know about, you know, whatever. Brilliant Stars. Long-term investment. Probably a great idea. Charizard. Long-term investment. Always a great idea. Look at this chart. I need to show you guys this. So here we had it at 116 before the bubble, okay? Got all the way up to $200. And then look over the last three months. There's your 200 right there. It has given back literally almost everything like the last three months didn't even happen. So three months ago, two months ago, one month ago, you wanted this Charizard and it killed you to see it keep going up in price. Well, guess what? You're in luck. It's pretty much all the way back down. So it is back down to being a hundred and, let's see, right before the explosion, let's call it right here. It was 117, and now it's 123. It's $5 more. Omit all of the craziness and get yourself this Charizard for probably a fair, anytime you can get this card between 100 and $120, you should probably do it. I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. And in fact, guys, in the future, very probably in the next week or two, I'm going to give you guys a, this is my collection, this is my raw card that I buy. Here's everything, just so you know, I'm not just talking the talk, I'm walking the walk. I own an absolute shit ton of minty, beautiful raw Pokemon cards, which is why I do these videos. All right, so is there anything else? Was that it? It was basically Charizard, 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 Zapdos, Wellspring Mask, Mew SIR, Metagross, Pikachu, Fletchender, another Mew, Arbok Golem, Shinx Luxray, another Mew. Got a lot of Charizards and Mews, two, you know, two very popular Pokemon. The coolest ETB ever. And then we were finishing with this as the best deal. Banger. All right, guys, that is all I got for this week. And again, I very much apologize that I'm literally getting this out at the very, very end of the week. I just had more pressing content that I had to get out to you guys that you should absolutely go watch now. In fact, here, watch watch uh, this video and then go watch this video. And guys, please, if you enjoy raw card market data, definitely subscribe to Mimic Brew. This is something that I just, there ain't no one doing it like I'm doing it. There's just too much data. It takes way too much time and I'm willing to put in the work. And until next time, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Deuces. Mimic Crew is goaded. Mimic Crew isn't goaded, 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 goaded. Mimic Crew, I like this taste.